Hey, welcome back to Lazy Gamers. Play Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, where we last left off, uh, we used a very creative approach to this fight that probably wasn't intended, but it worked out great for us. And now I'm going to eat this hand that we picked that I picked up off this dead sorcerer and uh, see where see what it tells us. Disembodied hand. Eat. And it does not did nothing. It just healed me. Okay. I would have figured that since that was a boss fight, that would have been something important. Turns out I was wrong. Huh. Fun fact. Uh, we need a waypoint out of here. Because we didn't come in through the fissure, we don't have an exit, a normal exit out of here. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what was that legendary sword, by the way? Shoot. Ah, uh, this camera, I swear to God. Yeah, this room is not that great. Is it the Wrecker's Cave Depths? Yeah, but if you have a camera issue, you'll need to leave the area and then just pop back in. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is move my camera back and forth through where the waypoint is. Then use the waypoint so that it's not stuck back there. <laughs> Smart. Okay. Let's see here. Two-handed sword. Um, well, I've turned... I've turned... Uh, what's his face into... Uh, sword and board, so... Trade Potter. Yep. Alright, so... I think we've gone everywhere in here, maybe. Not quite. There's, there was areas that we were like we could have gone to, but then we were like, this doesn't feel right. Like we're going, like we're not doing this in the right order. And so like we went down into the okay, ship. Okay, I see where it is. That there's that other gate, um, uh, up near that <clears throat> place where we ran into the eggs and the possessed people. The one where I'm going yep. to. So, uh, I sent some pants to Fane. Um, I think, I don't know if they're, like, something he needed or not. Mm -hmm. Well... They're not as good as the pants that I have, but the pants that I still have on them are legendary overpowered ones, so I'm going to go ahead and put them on. <laughs> Alright, so now I just need to replace one ring on Fane. And, uh, I need to replace pants on, pants and chest on, uh, on Sybil. I still have to do gloves and technically pants. My pants are just crap pants at the moment. Right, so let's see. Wait, does this go? Yeah, this is one of the paths back to the entrance. Well, if we clear the cut off the other direction. Over here. Oh, more eggs. If you just walk away, you'll just drop right out of combat. Probably. Because <clears throat> I'm the one that triggered it, so... Well, I was killing eggs from behind. So, I'm still in combat with that. With that. 
We'll try and sneak around over here. Not break sneak. Aha! <laughs> Can't believe that actually worked. That's one way to do it. No wait for that cooldown to be back up just in case I need it. <laughs> oh, this one's gonna freeze. This is a cold crawler void woken. It's a dead crawler void woken. <laughs> Got a backstab critical on my um, uh, attack of opportunity. Don't worry, I'm coming. I think you've gotten like two turns. I have high initiative on uh, on Sybil, okay? Yeah, you fixed that quick. Is there an oil <laughs> elemental? Like an oil element uh, like by summoning my familiar there? I I think so. Oh, sweet, there is. <clears throat> this is not good. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna set off the supernova right here. <laughs> This guy's weak towards fire as well. Let's see if I can make sure that you um uh, that you kill him with your supernova. Then I'll I'll let you do the honors. Well, I have I, enough AP to use my I, wind up toy. I got to burn through like eight hundred freaking oh, magic yeah. though. Oh. I'm only doing it because there's a gigantic puddle of oil. You know what? So why not? <laughs> Now you only have to go through 731. <laughs> Is my familiar to take bone extra damage from this? <laughs> uh, oh well, just do it. Uh, nope. Looks like we're we, once we go through this other gate, we're heading up to like some sort of captain's quarters type thing. Huh. You know, is there even any reason we're back here other than we found the door and went in it? <laughs> uh, Wait, did it just did it just avoid that entire explosion because it has cursed water underneath it? Well, now it's going to be standing on first ice. And I swear, if it gets to ignore that shit because I'm um, uh, because of magic armor, I'm gonna be pissed. Voidlings aren't very intelligent. I mean, they walk through fire and poison. That's a cause an explosion yep. when it when it dies. So that's one of the ones that explode explodes into poison. Oh, you are not in good shape right now. <laughs> huh? Apparently not. I would have laughed if you would have had decaying on you and not noticed it. <laughs> Frozen for two turns as well. I'm 
no moving right here. <laughs> so I want to try this and get frozen. <laughs> I was just waiting for it. <laughs> right, there's still one more in the back corner. Evidently. What I wanted to do. Oh my god. <laughs> what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to do this. Consume frozen Velma. It's an interesting skill. It consumes frozen surfaces around me and converts it to magic armor. It removes burning and necro fire. It's a very interesting um, uh, thing. That's an autosave. We are coming up on something, uh, probably a bo an actual boss instead of just like a bonus boss, I think. Wait, why are we in combat with stuff behind the door? A door that's locked, how are we in combat? Complete combat. Oh, game mechanics. We failed. Enemies too close. Can I even pick this in combat? Yes, I can. Okay. You're not in combat with this, are you? Yeah, I am. Treat <clears throat> the Reaper for me. So I see an NPC walking around up there, but I also see a chest off to the right. I've spotted something. Is there an NPC up there, or are you just looking at the- are you just seeing the rat? Oh, that's a rat? Okay. I found... found a dig spot. What do I find? Uh... I found a hole that we can go into. I don't want to go into it. Ooh. I wonder if that's how we were supposed to get into the area. Maybe. Hey, um... Can you teleport... Sybil over across this gap to this ornate chest. Yep. Teleport is like by far the most useful spell in this game, I think. Large poison poison bottle for Thane. That's good. Save. I saw the yellow dot up there and I thought it might be a, uh, an NPC or something. Oh <clears throat> uh, yeah. Dead bodies in there. This seems like a boss room to me. You would think so. 
I don't see a whole bunch. Well, I do see a couple of surfaces. Well, I see a poison barrel. Oh, yeah. This could be a uh, boss room. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do this. Found a bloodied arm. I'm gonna eat the arm, find out if it has everything. Nope. I learned to ricochet. There's a lot of chests in here. Oh. There is a person that we can of talk the to. Here. I can feel its power. Misery's near. Neat thing. I don't think I want to talk to her just yet. What about you? <laughs> Let's loot stuff first. Yeah. I see some chests over there. Uh... Even if our runes were going right, I still have me sorted out the diagram. Get to move that. There we go. <laughs> you see yourself in the mirror. It's quite a sight. I like how none of this is considered stealing. Yeah. Are you manifest of a peacemaker? Oh, you're already reading it. Yeah, no. Oh, whoa. Damn! Law and order. Man. I don't. Why don't I have a character as an archer? This fucking crossbow yeah. is good. Excruciating echo. Thirty-six to thirty-eight damage. One hundred fifty-five percent on my crit damage. Plus five percent accuracy, and it gives arrow spray. Man. In the case here for Shadow over Driftwood, in the cave we found a dwarven survivor mad with fear. We found Wrecker's Cave. Something terrible has happened there. The thought yep. of death fog gives you pause. A weapon like that should give everyone pause. Uh, uh of death fog? What? Um, it was probably in that thing you were reading. I just kind of skipped through it, but okay. I'm guessing it's some kind of like chemical, biological that creates magic death weapon. fog. That stuff on the ship from uh, the beginning of the game that kills you instantly. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah! This scourge, this destroyer. <laughs> Who wakes up in the morning and thinks today I'll invent earth. something that that'll be able to murder people <laughs> by the hundreds? think of a few places and things I could do with a fresh start. Wow. Seems pretty handy to me. <laughs> Who wakes up in the morning just thinks, yeah. And you use this against your own kind, knowing it ends their existence? How how are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fane, how I love you. Ah, death fog. Instant victory. I always applauded you wow. for using... <laughs> <clears throat> about what I expect from a guy that wages war. Yeah. And we found hey. a... Ooh. Front. This will be actually really good for Prince. Just because of the skill it grants. If that's the skill that I think it is. So what exactly... Uh, oh. No. Handle carefully. Death fog within. Cargo will not be opened on pain of death. Where are you seeing that? I, would, I said to recheck the uh, manifest because I was like, where did it mention Death Fog at? It's like, oh, there. Yeah, look at the um, uh, weapon I um, uh, sent Prince. See, Storm Forger. Look at the skill it gives. Closed circuit. Is that the one that, um, uh, that teleports you to people? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, is it better? Let's see here. <clears throat> I'm positive I read about this in uh, last month's avant-garde alchemist. Oh no! Oof! Holy moly! Jeez! What? 
closed circuit deals 119 to 132 air damage to enemies around you, then creates cursed static clouds on the edge of the spell. Consumes two source points to use. Damn. All right, I'm gonna talk to this uh, scientist, quote unquote. <laughs> the dwarven woman hums to herself as she works with total focus and concentration. Does she have anything for trade? Her ears she has a lot of grenades for trade, but she does not turn to you. Yeah, I found a lot of grenades over on the t on the uh, stand. I'm yes. guessing she makes the death fog. She turns to peer up at you, surprise and mistrust evident in her intelligent face. Business is it of yours, outsider. Say that she's been slacking. You've been hired to fetch a progress report. Damn, needed four persuasion for it. You're in no position to give me orders. I answer directly to Queen Justinia herself. Who's Queen Justinia? Leave me to work in peace. Do any of us have high persuasion? I got three. Let's see. He's got. One. And you said pretty them. sure the results were different yesterday, but I've changed Buffet. nothing. Do we have a ring with persuasion, maybe? Uh, no, don't look like it. Crap. <clears throat> what I wouldn't give for Hanig's advice right now. Uh. The rat gives you a malevolent stare. I'll chew the beating heart from you. Oh, this rat's kind of rude. I'll kill you stone dead. I'll do you harm. I'll do you harm. I was on the peacemaker and I'll do you harm at the elbow. I'll do you harm. Saw nothing, saw nothing but smelled Sorry. everything, smelled life, <clears throat> smelled. Death smelled it seeping out of the barrels. Jeez. Death, death sailing into the rocks. The rat crouches low and gives you an evil look. Oh, ain't no way out but an hole in the ground, an hole in the ground. Ha! Dig your hole wherever you like, dig your hole wherever you like. The void is coming and all is nothing. Dig your <laughs> hole wherever you like, that's the key. The rat crouches low and... All right, well, let's see. Oh, there's more stuff over here. Can't reach. Oh, I gotta move this shit. Ooh. Alright, so evidently the way out is a hole. Are you talking to that person now, or are you reading that stuff? Reading that stuff. Alright, so... Let's see where this hole goes, I guess. Why though? Perhaps if I modify the essential substrate with the What? Wait a minute. What? Oh, never mind, that won't work. <laughs> Why though? The rat said the way out of here is some uh, a hole. You know what? I bet we're missing the way in, because we did everything so out of order. Found a foot. 
Maybe the foot will tell me something. <coughs> you shut your oh, eyes yes, and did. try to block out the sensation of giant mandibles nuzzling your flesh. Oh, it's the last memories of a guy being eaten by one of the Void Woken. You hear it click clack well, away. Noise. You daren't move. Not after you saw what happened to the last one who tried to run. What do these things want? Wait, my map's not completely cleared up there. Do we miss something up there? Alright, so oh. there's that entire area. Like, if we go back to where we cheesed out that encounter, if we tele do that teleport across, we can get to it. To the other side, where we um, uh, cheesed out that one bo semi boss fight. Right. That's the only place we have left to explore down here. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like there was a. Yeah, let's let's just go there, I guess. Huh. This will be a long, wait. I could just wait for him there. Why am I running? <laughs> the bug just popped in, just randomly. He was like, "Oh crap, enemy!" Right, you want to teleport me over? There's a possessed rogue yeah, up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to get Thane over here. Where's my fucking grind at? Oh, I can't find my triangle in my bag. Oh, there it is. Again, I feel like we're doing things heavily out of order. Yep. Sure, we're not supposed to be back here yet. I'm gonna talk this way. I can't hear nothing. Nothing but that voice. It won't stop. It never stops. He has a pillow. He's got a bucket on his head. He does indeed have a bucket. The on his dwarf head. starts to sob quietly with his hands pressed over his ears. The dwarf turns, startled by your voice. There's a look of panic. Uh, Modus, he was here. Locked away, waiting for Loha. Then, wait. Maybe we were supposed to get to this part first. The dwarf turns <clears throat> away and roars at a shadow. Because Mortis was out there where, like, when we. Ah, oh, shut up! Stop! Yep. Please. He grabs your arm, pawing at you while his mouth moves silently. His blue eye. Oh, now there's a possessed elementalist too. Oh no. No worries. They hate me. That elementalist though is about to have a bad day when it's going to spin.
And I got rid of most of his magic armor for you, too. The Elementalist is a good target for you. Hey, you got Whirlwind. Or you remember to equip it. Yeah. <coughs> After so many times of forgetting. You know, we were supposed to come into a different direction, definitely. Where I have no idea because I'm not seeing any entrances. Oh. Whatever. Right where I want you. It's like you knew what you were going to do as far as the fire goes, because you did drink a large fire resistance potion right away. Alright, well, we'll see what's going on here on a little bit more next time here on Lazy Gamers. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Have a good one.